Welcome, everybody, to the Salty Nerd Podcast. Covers Helldivers on our gaming channel. This is a brand new channel for us. We're just getting started, and we are addicted to Helldivers. Yes, we are. Like most of the gaming community uh, well, you're, at the moment. You're kind of a crackhead when it comes to this I'm game. a little bit of a crackhead about this game, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, however, am more normal. I would play more, but yeah. I just, I, I, it's, I'm finding it really hard to squeeze into time. You're like level 50. I'm, I, I'm at 49 right now, which <laughs> nowadays is actually slacking. Like, yeah, because we've got buddies who are what level 80 something. Yeah, like once they once they bumped up the cap from 50. Yeah. Like Don, we're talking about our friend Don. We play with often. You can see him on our gaming channel if you yep. watch some of the uh, almost every time. Done. Like he has more streaming time on there than me. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Don, when they when they capped us up from 50 to 150. He, like overnight he went from 50 to like 73 yeah it's just like he, they they backlogged all his <laughs> achievements and all his all that stuff and and uh which was really pretty actually cool of them which uh -huh. is one of the th reasons why i'm so freaking hard on about this game mm -hmm. is because the people the developers i forgot i just realized i don't have headphones on um the developers are pretty based they're pretty yeah. chill yeah like I mean, they, they're they're cool with the community and they, they like to play along and it's kind of i don't, I don't know if they're based they just have a more it seems like they have a more even keel approach yeah. to everything. There's there's a there's plenty of non based people <laughs> in that company. I'm sure, as, as we know. And there was yeah. a little bit of a thing about it a couple of weeks ago. But can you, you know, tell me? I'm not familiar that's, with that's that. That's not what we're here. Though they had a community leader, um, whatever they're called. I forget uh, what, what they call the people, the community manager, or like whatever. PR agent, you know, and she was all with, uh, with her, with her the chick with with her <laughs> he her they zims and yeah, their yeah. pronouns and shit, and and they were. Uh, it was it was a little bit of a thing for about five minutes, and then she, she I, I feel like she kind of was probably told take the pronouns out of your your shit and um just be cool, just be cool, just be cool. You know, that's all we ask, right? That's all I, we as people who were looking for entertainment I, and looking yeah. for games, just that's be all, cool. I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah, I yeah. just if just be cool. Yeah, um, but that's one of the things that I really like about this this community as a whole, the gaming side and the dev side, is that mm -hmm. like we're playing this little tit for tat. Like, yeah, we're having this little game with these people. And we're we're talking about the major orders. Most recently, this is what day is today? It's uh, April twenty third. We're we're two days away from the end of a major order that is the in, major order, the major order that is impossible <laughs> to do right yeah, now. Yeah, we should set that up a little bit, right? Yeah, go ahead. So last week, um, Joel, all game master Joel, game master Joel, <laughs> this 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 notorious game master. Yeah. Um, he he we 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 had this thing where we had to uh, collect. We had to kill two billion billion with a capital b billion yeah uh bugs for to harvest their their e710 you know oil. the oil uh, the oil yeah, yeah. you know for for our ships and everything you know because we're assholes and we harvest living creatures to, to, to uh <laughs> we are to, the bad to, guys to, to uh scenario. you know fuel our, fuel our fuel our economy i saw a meme. <laughs> and, uh, I, saw, let you I saw this meme dude and it freaking cracked me up <laughs> it was a picture of a of one of the 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 chopper um the ones with the chainsaws on their hands uh -huh. And it says, any freaking liberal who says this is the good guy is freaking is, is really the bad guys. Like anybody who says chainsaw yeah. arms and red glowing arms yeah. are the good guys is trying to play you. Right, right. Like democracy first, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, the the major order to collect two billion, kill yeah, two billion bugs, two kill two billion bugs, yeah. so we can harvest them, um, came out, and we had six days. Six days to do this major order. Yeah. And we're like, God damn, I don't know if that's going to be possible because none of us had ever gotten an order like this before. And we're like. Two billion? Jesus, that's a lot, you know? <laughs> and the community knocked it out in 13 hours. Yep. All, all reports that Thir I've heard is, is sitting around 13 to 14 hours. Yeah. How long it took us to do yeah. that. Because when we got that order, we were like, oh. I, I logged on at like 9 o'clock in the morning after the order came out, and it was already at like yeah. 53%. Yeah. I think for that specific order, because it happened so fast, I think I only played like three rounds. Just uh, like in yeah. my spare time, I was like, oh, I'll hop on real quick and help out. And, right. I, you know, I probably contributed like four, 400 kills. Yeah, yeah. I think I had like <laughs> 250 maybe. Yeah. And uh, anyway, it got knocked out so quick. So then uh, I did, we didn't know what was going to happen. And then social media got a little weird. And people started like poking the bear. Yeah. They started. They started. Well, we talk, so they started, they started they, there was some trash talking yeah, going on in the yeah. socials. Like, oh, with that, Joel. Hey, you got? Joel, you got all you got, <laughs> pussy. You know, you know, it's like it's, it's like. So you know, in my brain, Joel's yeah. going, okay, all right, motherfuckers, all right, motherfuckers. You know, it's like this is an R-rated podcast, by the way. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is not for your kids. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like, and I don't know if 
if he did this. Nobody really knows. It's speculation. But, but you know, it could have been part the, of the, the plan. You know, we had six, we had five more days where we were going to have nothing to do. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, the next morning, all of a sudden, out of the blue, it was like, due to your fantastic yada, 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 yeah. you, you know, all of a sudden, now we're getting invaded on both fronts and we have to <laughs> defend 10 planets. Yeah. Which, you, you, and, you, you and, know, and, and it's a, defense, like, a defense campaign for a planet is only activated once it's liberated. Right. Right. So once we liberate it, then we can defend it. The problem was we only had like, I think when it first started, I believe, don't quote me on this if somebody might know the actual number, mm-hmm. but I think there was only like five planets total yeah. that were defendable. And the rest of them had to be liberated. Mm-hmm. So there's been this big debate on how to accomplish this mission. And is it even possible? Some people, uh, like our friend Don was like, mm-hmm. yeah, if we collectively all the entire play base just went through each individual planet and knocked yeah. it out in 13 hours and then had a defense campaign on it and then moved on to the we, next we, one. We, we, Liber- we need to have a... As the community needs to come together a little bit clo- a little bit better yeah. to str- strategic. We, we need to have like a, a strategic but, department on Twitter or X that just puts out tweets on the best case scenario because there's people who will literally break down. Yeah. I'm a casual player. I'm going to put that out there right now. You're, I'm not, a, you're not a casual I am. I, compared to some people, I am a casual well, player. Well, compared to the crazy people, you... Listen, <laughs> I am a casual player. I'm level 22, okay? Yeah. Um, I play for about four to five hours, six hours a week when I can squeeze the time in. Mm. You go to work and play <laughs> on your lunch breaks, and every time the phone is ringing, you're on. If if I log on to the computer to check my email, bleep, I get an I get a, <laughs> I get a, an instant notification. <laughs> Come dive, motherfucker! Let's go. You know, you know, because you're always in the game. I just, it, dude, if I can when catch you it. got here to the studio today, I was the on. first thing you did I was, was turn on, I was on the game, dude. I I had like four <laughs> emails I had to send for work. I send those emails, take care of that, pay this invoice, but yep. all good to go. Okay, studio. I, I'll dive. I came in here, I set the studio up, <laughs> turned all the computers on, get everything going, and then I was like, okay, well, I got about an hour. Let's uh, see how many missions I can get in. Because that's that's the beauty of this game. Yeah. Is like, I, wa- I walked into the office today. Your computer had Helldivers on, run, running. You're, you're not even here. You're at home. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. This, fucking, this guy. <laughs> anyway. Just, anyway. But yeah, it's funny. <laughs> relatively, I am a casual player. I, I'm not a high oh, level. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm barely even level 50. People got capped out at level 50 before they even yeah. popped it up to 150. Um, my point was, is that... <laughs> I can't remember what my point was because you side railed me. Sorry. Um, I, I oh the orders. Okay, so there, there's people who actually map out the galactic map, uh-huh. and some planets are actually more strategically valuable than others because they have like trade routes that they go off mm-hmm. of. So if you can take one, if you, I, I don't know if this is real or if it's just speculation, but if you take, let's just say, if you take a hub of a planet that that uh, has trade routes to all these other planets, if you liberate that one, mm-hmm. it lessens the difficulty on the other right. planets. Hey, listen, man. Um, I think. Some of these planets that we go to try to defend and liberate, mm-hmm. I just assume that they leave them to, <laughs> like leave, them, leave, them, leave them to the automaton. Which ones? Um, acid rain planet. <laughs> Is there um, an acid rain planet? Yeah, yeah, we were playing it last night. You can't see shit anywhere. It's just acid rain and, oh. and, and acid bogs everywhere. It's ridiculous. Wow. Um, fire tornado planet. Fire tornado planet. Fall, foul mark I, I and, and Hel, Hellmeyer. I, I don't know Mr. Casual who knows the name. I th- yeah, I yeah, think. Okay. Well, Hellmeyer for sure is on the yeah. bug side. I know that planet well because... It is named appropriately. Yeah. But, yeah. But far, fire far mark tornadoes and yeah. acid storms. <laughs> just keep the planet. Just keep it. We don't, we don't want it. You can, keep, you can have those. It's okay. <laughs> That's not very democratic. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, then, I, and then the nice planets, we just launch nukes everywhere and radiate the whole thing. So Yeah. 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 Democracy. <laughs> Whatever. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, boom. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> So there, there's um, there's strategic value to the planets. And I, I think if we had somebody, and it's not going to be me, it's got to be somebody who can dedicate some some real time to this. But if somebody went and created an account, and maybe there already is one. If there is, comment uh, Yeah, below. let us know. Let us know. Um, that like gives out strategic orders probably a specific order to the major order. Mm-hmm. Like if there's like a, like a CIA of the Helldiver community. And like, okay, this is the intelligence that we have. This is the planet we need to attack. Group together on that. Obviously, they're not going to get 100%. Right. Some people are just going to fuck off and go fight bugs. Some people are going to fuck off and go play. Like, when, when the bug order was gone, I missed the automatons. I love fighting automatons. Yeah. It, it's by far the they're most more, fun. They're more fun. They sure. are more fun for me. For There's nothing quite as satisfying. There's nothing quite as satisfying as taking your Quasar 
and and nuking a uh, drop ship, a drop ship out of orbit when yeah. it comes in. It's like, boom, especially when it's right on top of you. Oh, it's badass. Ah! It's so cinematic. It's oh, so it really cinematic. Is. It, it really is. is. You're sitting there and you're just like, oh, you see this, you see him flying in. And me and Don, because we we have the same mentality about this, like mm -hmm. the first one, like you were talking about, like whoever can get it first is the yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we would be shooting and it would be like, I would hit it and then his Quasar would hit it, but mine counts. Yeah. So I'd get the kills and he wouldn't. And he's like, <laughs> God damn it. So we had to come up with a system. We're like, okay, whoever sees it first, tag it with a little pink. And then once you tag it, if, if it's already tagged, then you you go to the next one. Yeah. And that's how we kind of mapped out. Like, then it's like, we, it's like then we started I'm, taking down I'm like three of them. I'm to the point where it's like, I'm really hoping they launch that red flare up <laughs> before before we kill them. Dude, it's the, like, get the flare out. Get the flare out. So I want some drop chips to come in. You know, you know what the baller move is? <laughs> the baller move is to attack a base without blowing it up. Oh, yeah. I love And getting that. them to launch the red flare right above the base and then yeah. take the drop ship out and drop it on the base. The, the and then you get the double kill. Yeah. The baller move for me is seeing the the, the factory mm -hmm. bases and and circling around without being seen, taking your quasar out and one shotting yeah. the factory. Yeah, <laughs> that's one shot, one factory kill. The that, that's a baller move. That is that qua I don't know. Is the quasar overpowered? Is it OP? No, because the cooldown time is a killer. You think? Yeah. So the thing is, is like if you have more than one person with a quasar, then it's like oh shit. Like it, you're kind of unstoppable. Well, yeah. you're not unstoppable, but it's very easy to take down. Do a we lot do of we stuff. need to explain these things to the people in our audience? What, what I think we're if talking they're about? listening to a Helldiver they podcast, probably know, they're huh? probably okay. They probably yeah. know. Yeah. All right. I do want to recommend people go get the the newest um, War Bond though, because the exploding round sniper rifle is freaking god mode. I like that thing more than I like the sickle. Like, I, oh, I love my sickle. Good. I know the sickle is like the most right. I don't know how you just say it. it. Just, it's, it's, it's just it's just freaking badass. It's good stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah. So let's talk about a little bit more about Joel. Um, because okay. I find this part the most interesting part of this whole community is the tit for tat, the back and forth that the community mm -hmm. has with Joel, right? And uh, the overall vibe that the devs are giving off on like they're always in character. Mm -hmm. They're always thankful. They're always like responding to the community. And when people are like, no, this game's too hard. They're like, get, <laughs> get better, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I mean, there's like nine levels of... Uh, yeah, there's nine of, difficulties. Of, of difficulties. Yeah, bump that difficulty down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, when I'm playing by myself, listen, my fingers don't work. I'm, I'm, I'm bound. I'm, I'm just afflicted with old man arthritis fingers. And, you know, they're, I'm getting them trained up, but it kind of sucks. So if I can go down to like level three mm -hmm. and just go knock out the daily go kill 200 things with your machine gun kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. I, that's fine. And then when I get into groups with like, with, 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 uh, with Don and you or whatever, there's four of us. We're on we, difficulty we crank, six. Crank it up to six. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that because yeah. then we can all support each other. But that's the thing that's cool about this game. The, the levels, they're, they're kind of meaningless. It doesn't, uh, the level 22 guy is using the same shit as a level 75 guy. Oh, it, you mean, you, you know, I mean, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's not a, a stat thing where it's like I get more strength when I get more. No, levels. no, no. It's not it's that. Like, you, what the levels do is they un it unlocks more stuff for you to use. Yeah. And even if you have stuff that I can that that you can unlock that I can't, you can call it down and give it to you, and I can use it. Yeah. I've stolen your jetpacks and your and your <laughs> and your stuff all the time. I yeah. can have those things now, but like you can call down your your walker, your 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 the patriot, your make, your yeah. mech, right? And and just and I, and I can get in it and just destroy things. Yeah, which is cool as hell. Dude. Yeah. It's just like really fun. So it's, it, it builds that community. It builds yeah. that cooperative yeah, yeah. play, which is one of the things that I love about this. Because I'm not an online gamer. I do not like playing online. Yeah, games. I don't like Call of Duty. I don't like all that shit. I don't like. I, mean, I, don't, I don't even like playing Halo on multiplayer. I just I'm like I'm just a cam I, I, I'm a campaign type dude. But right. this game is like the best of both worlds. Like yeah. you, you crew up with a couple of your friends and you go accomplish missions and, and it's just all cooperative. And I, I love that about it. And, and that's, and, and, right. And that's the thing that I love about this game is, is I feel like the learning, the learning curve isn't super high, mm -hmm. but it's just enough to challenge somebody who isn't used to playing these kind of games. Like I, I wasn't, mm -hmm. but what, what I'm getting back and what I love about this game is I'm, I mean, you know, I used to be a big world of Warcraft player back yeah. in vanilla and PC days. And I missed the, the social aspect of gaming. I, I, I need to be, I need to talk to people when I play. Yeah. I need to have some social interaction. And this game brings that back. And I'm playing again with, with you, of course, but I'm playing with people that are in our community, which makes it really easy to bring people in. And I'm also playing with people I used to play World of Warcraft and stuff with back 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm, I'm reacquainting with people and it's awesome. And I, and I love that part of this game. You know, it's not healthy for people to sit there in their dark little rooms and play games by themselves all the time. You become an anti, you become a, a golem. Yeah. You know, my precious, my, you, you know, <laughs> but you, you know, at least, you know, we might be sitting there getting fat, eating our hot pockets, but at least we're having some social interaction with real people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think that's important. Like the day that I meet Don in person, I'm going to give him a big old hell oh, yeah. hug. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I've never met this dude. I've yeah. only ever talked to him. On I've been playing with that guy for forever, but you know? Him and I are freaking pretty tight now, and I'm like, man, this. Thank you for introducing him to me, yeah. by the way. Yeah, he's, he's, really he's a good. he's a great guy to game with. Mm -hmm. Um, real quick, uh, we're we're at about the we're gonna keep these short and sweet. These are gonna be like less than thirty minutes probably on these podcasts. But um, I did want to get back to the major orders. What is your speculation on what's gonna happen? I'm assuming because we don't have that much time left. We have two days currently. Like I said, uh, as of, as of the twenty <laughs> third of April, we have two days left on this major order mm -hmm. to defend ten planets. And we're only at 40%. <laughs> the likelihood of us accomplishing this is low. Yeah. Um, It'll be interesting to see some, what some, happens when we fail at a major order. That's what I was going to bring we, up. We haven't failed yeah. at one yet. We've, we've accomplished every major order that they've given us. This one, some people are like, oh, it's purposely over overly difficult. And it might be. Maybe. Maybe, they maybe have, that's part of the narrative. Maybe they're telling us a story. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I maybe think, we need to fail yeah. to, to push something forward, maybe, yeah. you know. So. I think that there is a narrative happening in this show, in this game mm -hmm. that I would almost speculate that there is probably a Joel for the Helldiver side, right? Sure. So, so the, the person who says, okay, what, uh, okay, so we have these major orders. We're going to set up this defense. They're, they're playing a tabletop game and mm -hmm. they're using us as their players. Yeah. And, and they, this Joel guy, he's got automatons and bugs on his side. And he's got rules that he has to follow. And then the Helldivers have our major orders and the rules we have to follow. Mm -hmm. I think there's a, a back and forth happening. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I think the reason why this one was so difficult was one, probably to give them a little bit of time because they, yeah. they've been like 24 7, 365 since the game launched and it is way more popular than they anticipated I, it to be. Yeah. So they were like, let's give these guys, let, give me seven days to just fucking figure some shit out. Mm -hmm. And these guys can play and see if they accomplish it. If they do, great. If yeah. they don't, okay. But we're going to have a, response for either one um i think if we fail this major order we're going to lose on the on the automaton front and on the bug front we're yeah. getting we're getting closer to super earth we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get a little bit tighter yeah we're gonna get some new planets because we haven't been this close if, if they progress if they move forward and they get closer to super earth mm -hmm. we're gonna have some new plans to defend because there 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 is a liberation percentage on mars and there's a liberation percentage on super earth as well nice. so at some point in time it is a high possibility that we will be fighting on home turf. And we're still waiting for the Illuminate to show up. That's yeah, right? that's still I and I've the, heard so many theories about it and I know it's from the first game which mm -hmm. they're probably going to make it into the second one obviously. Um I'm curious. I'm very curious. And there's a, the, apparently there's a huge backstory which I, I'm not yeah. I haven't really dove into yet, but there's cyborgs and, and, and the, yeah. the other thing that's cool about this game. Yeah. I am a total noob when it comes to this world. Mm -hmm. And I know there's the other game and I think there's is there books? I don't, any, know. I don't know. I don't know. I I think they are. I, I I mean, do I have to like go do some homework? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a whole so, story because there's there's cyborgs. Excuse me. There's <coughs> there's cyborgs. There's automatons. The illuminants. Cyborgs we haven't seen, and the illuminants we haven't cool. seen. We got cool. the, the terminoids or terminids. Uh, the bugs, whatever. Terminids. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, there's a there's a couple factions, the and, and they're the all Zerg, the Necron. Yeah. <laughs> they're all attached. <laughs> they, there is a story to it because apparently, like I think the automatons are like a more advanced version of the cyborgs, and the Illuminates are the ones who created the cyborgs. Mm -hmm. And it's like there's a a big story behind this whole thing. So I'm really curious how it's going to play out. And yeah. uh, I think if we fail, we're going to get a little bit closer to home turf on on the fighting front. Just you know, makes makes it more for a yeah. more, for more a, makes it more. God, <laughs> haven't you started drinking? It makes more for a more interesting story. Yes. So yeah, and I'm all for it. Like yeah, I was, because everybody's like, when we, when we defeated the automatons and it was just like their 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 front force. That's it. That's over. Yeah. Game, we were, game we were done? Like, now what are we gonna do? Yeah. And they were like, don't worry. Go go harvest some <laughs> oil. <laughs> go get some oil. Real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go shoot some stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is there is there anything that you wish that this game? Um, does differently in the future or is there something um, that you're looking forward to? Is there any gripes that you have? Cause I'm, I, I want, I, I'm I pretty... want bigger squads. I want okay. to play with more people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, eight, 10 people. That's a lot. Yeah. But imagine the, imagine the campaigns we can have. I, I, yeah. I can, they're going to have to be careful with that though, because yeah. that's going to get just major. Assaults. It's going to turn into noise real quick. 
Sure. You imagine how much four of us talk when we're laughing and where yeah. shit's happening. But if we start having groups of eight, we're going to start pairing off. Sure. Like you I two mean, go to get that objective. You that. two go there. Yeah, we already do that with four. It's like you know, it's but, like you know, you know, me and me and uh, uh, Def Ro, our buddy Def Ro. Yeah, yeah. We'll be out there just and and you or Don. What is, I'm going to go take out this factory over here. Yep. <laughs> and, oh, okay. And then cover me. <laughs> and then I'm going to go take out this. Uh, I'm going to go open up this uh, this anti air missile base over here while yeah. you guys are killing those squads over there. It's like, yeah. okay. And that's fine. Yeah. I guess the stuff more done. I like it when we can get in and get out, but still get all the stuff. Yeah. And that's another thing I like about this game. And, and I don't think everybody knows this yet because people were calling people ninjas and stuff. But, you know, when somebody gets things in the game, everybody gets that. Right. You know, you know, you don't have to fight over the stuff that's in the hidden bunkers and on the things that they're just have somebody go out and collect that shit. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you yep. get, and just, just make sure it gets back to the ship and everybody gets credit for that stuff. I believe, so. I, I, this is, I don't know for sure, but I think if you collect super credits, requisition mm -hmm. chips, or, and some other items yeah, everybody like that, gets those, I think. everybody gets them, but you don't have to extract with them like you do with the samples. I think the oh, samples I, you have to extract, but okay. I think if you collect super credits in game and then just say you die, but you complete the mission, but you right. die and you don't extract, I think you still get them. I'm not 100% sure. But I know for sure, for sure, yeah. the samples and stuff you have you to You have to back. extract, for sure. Yeah. And then everybody gets them. And that's, right, right. now I'm lacking on, on the sample part because I, I've got all the upgrades that I can get right now without mm -hmm. getting the, the ultra rare yeah, or whatever, the, 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 the pink get. ones. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm not, I'm not 100%. <laughs> but like all the ones that I can get at like level five or six, I've gotten. Yeah. I need to bump it up to seven, eight, nine to get the super rare samples. And I don't have, like unless me, Dawn and like, like a couple other like high ranking people do it. Mm -hmm. Like I can't, I just can't, it's, I can't extract at that yeah. level. It's just, it's freaking insane. Yeah. Um, for me, because I'm an old school splinter cell player. Oh. I, I blew through the campaigns of all like six of those games on, on the highest difficulty. I'm a big fan of stealth games. Um, I would like to see a little bit more robust stealth mechanics. Yeah. Um, right now, I can I can do a lot of solo missions. You like you like to sneak around. And I do. Take, yeah, take things out. Yeah, I I can do a lot of solo missions with the armor type, the scout armor type that mm -hmm. gives you like thirty percent less. Uh, I don't know, like radar signature. Yeah, or yeah. I've been in um, missions with you. I know. I, yeah. I'm I'm more of a. You're a baller. I'm, you just yeah, go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you're <laughs> you know, a fucking and, tank. And, you know, and, and and I turn around and you're like up on this rock. Yeah. A hundred yards behind me yes. with a sniper gun, <laughs> dude. Legitimately, so like they, they, they in the new um, Democratic Demolition War Bond that I got, uh -huh. um, they have uh, the explosive arrow, the the, the crossbow. Yeah, and I, I have, that thing is underrated, uh -huh. but a little bit underpowered. So I will take that, especially on bug missions, because bugs don't have as much of a uh, of like a. I don't know, they, a line of sight as mm -hmm. the robots do. Like, you can you can sneak around bugs and they don't even know you're there. Right. But the bots are a little bit harder. Um, but with the crossbow, it doesn't give them a location where the shot comes from, which is the key moment nice. for a stealth player, right? So I can go in there with an explosive round and just, like, take out five bots and they're just like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> but, like, look, they're shooting everywhere. They don't know where I am. I love that shit. You yeah. pair that with a jetpack, you get up high, you find some stuff, and you take out a majority of the people your stratagem secondary is the Star Wars, the machine gun for your, like, your oh shit moments. Uh -huh. And you have like 30 of them coming after you. Like, oh, shit. Um, and then you got your eagles and stuff like that yeah, to yeah. call in. But I love doing stealth missions and I would like them to kind of maybe cater a little bit more to that right yeah. now. Like th there's a ton of like mid range yeah, armor. I, see, I, they've got heavy armor. <laughs> they got all the stuff, but they've, there's only like two types of armor that gives mm -hmm. you the, the stealth mission stuff. Yeah, I find it interesting. You and I are like we're, our play style is completely opposite. But we complement each other, right? Yeah, and, and, right? and that's good. Yeah. And, you know, I I want squads. I want like tactics. I want mm -hmm. like we guys go here, you guys yeah. go here. We'll pinch them in. We'll do this kind of yeah. stuff. And you're the guy that just sits, I'm clearing the way. Yeah, I'm clear. Like it's, the other super day, fun. The other day, I was and that's you know, there's not a lot of games where you can play both ways like that. Yeah, and yeah. you know, so so like I love like I'll go ahead of you guys. The crew, mm -hmm. the squad will be behind me. It'll be you, Def Row, and 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 uh, yeah, whoever, and, and Don, yeah. whoever it doesn't matter. I'll go ahead because I've got the sneaky armor stuff mm -hmm. and I'll take my my new explosive round sniper rifle, which is <laughs> fucking God mode. Like yeah, that yeah. thing will take out everything. Uh -huh. um, I'll go out ahead. I'll jetpack up on top of a rock and I'll oh, be like, yes. oh, there's a base over there. You okay. and your jetpack. Oh, there he goes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've mastered that thing, dude. I can get some freaking range with that nice, thing. Nice. It's awesome. <laughs> but I'll take out a squad. Like it'd be like a whole squad over there with a factory. And I'll, I'll take out all the low level guys. I'll hit the heavy... And I'll I'll knock them down a peg, 
And then you guys come in, blow the base up, mop it up, mop yeah. it up, get everything going, and then they move on to the next. I fun. love doing that it's shit. So it's so satisfying when I'm like, all right, guys, that base is clear. Moving on to the next one to the north. Pink. And that's what's cool about Hell Divers is it it's it's scratching multiple itches when yeah. it comes to different game styles and play. it's it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to when we fail this major order. Yeah, that's gonna be, be interesting. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna be mad I don't get my 50 medals. So we're at two days, which is but, today's <laughs> today's Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, fr Friday, I guess, yeah. by Friday, which is just in time for the weekend. Mm -hmm. We're going to fail this major order on Friday. <laughs> Everybody's going to be pissed. Pissed. God damn it. God damn it, Joel, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and then the weekend, they're going to give us the weekend to push back. Mull it over. To, yeah. yeah. To, well, no, I think they're going to give us a new major order and it's going to be like, all right, we've got to rile together and 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 take back our land or do whatever, yeah. you know, go, go get these planets. Like, we're going we're gonna to have a moment go to Go get back. that stupid planet back with yeah. the fire tornadoes. With the fire tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> what is your favorite planet to fight on? Do you have one that you just love um, going to? Well, there's this one that's like kind of like pastoral. Yes, it, it, I know the one. Yeah, trees. It's like got a lot it's, of it meadows. It looks like Scotland. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that one. Like I, don't, I don't remember the name. I don't of it, remember the name of that one either. It's it's you know I don't have to jump over a ton of stuff. You, you know it's mm -hmm. it's easy to walk through. <laughs> it's, just it's just grass fields. Grass fields. It's like the Shire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just that I like that one. Go defend the Shire. There's some rocks. Every once in a while, you can stand up on top of it and shoot things. <laughs> I dig it. Um, so far, my favorite one, it was like, I think it was two major orders ago, maybe three. Um, we had to fight on, I think it, the name of it was Maya. And it was like a moon planet, but it was the one, oh. with, one with the asteroids. I've been spending a lot of time on Oshu, Oshianu. Oshianu? The Osh bug planet? Yeah. When I go kill bugs, I, yeah. I tend to go there. Yeah. Okay. So I know what you're talking about. But. Um, yeah. Maya is, was my favorite one to go to. I, I love the aesthetic. It was like dark and like almost black and white. Because it was just a moon, and, yeah. and it's got the asteroids, and it's got like the the cratered uh, landscape. It was mm -hmm. badass. I love that planet. I've heard rumors that some new plants we're gonna get are gonna have low G, like nice, no, That'd be fun. like low gravity. So like we're gonna be like a guy like, like me who uses the jetpack yeah. all the time. We're gonna be freaking. Maybe we should have some heavy gravity planets too. So you can only take two stratagems with you, or something uh, like that. Make yeah. it really hard. Yes. Yeah, and like if you're if you like the rockets, if you have a rocket, it goes. It has like a <laughs> drop mechanism where yeah, like yeah, if yeah. it's a heavy planet. The rockets don't go as far. Like, yeah, make it make it difficult for your quasar cannon to hit things. You know? Ooh. So the, 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 it's limitless what they can do. Yeah, yeah. They really can't. They, can, they can throw anything at it. A, That's fun. A quasar cannon's energy based. Yeah. So what if they go to a planet where everyone instead of an ion, it's an EMP planet. It's a whole planet. It's just a big EMP bomb. Yeah. It's just, it's just no, like it's electric, too close to the sun. Electronics don't work. Yeah, electronics don't work. Or they, so or they, or they screw up. Yeah, it, yeah. It, maybe maybe your quasar will blow up. You know, twenty percent chance <laughs> oh, of blowing up on your shoulder. That's so fucking rad. Yeah. Don't make it more hard on us. Yeah. God damn. Should we wrap this up? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Right. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to probably, I want to commit to doing this once a week. Like, okay. Once a week, just a recap week. on Helldivers. We we'll can, do it on Tuesdays. We, we can sit here and, and just riff on the, on the week. Like, maybe, hey, what'd you do this week? <laughs> maybe we can uh, have some, some of our friends join us. Yeah, yeah. We'll have some guests. We'll do some stuff. Sure. Uh, it'll be a good time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is a new channel for us, Salty Nerd Gaming. Uh, we're going to do gaming live streams and then we're going to drop a, a review podcast. We're pretty specific on Helldivers right now. Uh, we'll talk we'll, about we'll, we'll call, we might we'll we'll bridge those we'll bridge those the the, the gaming whatever, channel you know is I mean. not going to be hell divers specific. I have plans to play some other games. It's just um at, at the it's moment a, it's a time thing. But right yeah. now we're playing hell divers. Yeah, so. yeah. I want to play with games. I want I want to like revisit old games like Starcraft and stuff like that. So you know what? We'll with see. the new Fallout show, I might need to first play some Fallout. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Do it because uh, I've I've played Fallout three briefly and I kind of got bored. But the game. Mm -hmm. Or not the game. The the show has gotten me more interested in looking about the game, right? Which is interesting. That's there's a lot of people streaming, <coughs> yeah. Fallout, all the Fallout games right now, yeah. all over the place. And stuff. Yeah. All right. Should we should we end with the with a salute? You know. The yeah. Hell divers. Salute.